Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought it would be fun to do a quick little video about something that I get a lot of questions for, for a lot of you guys who are beginners out there. So I know a lot of you guys who watch my tutorials are beginners on guitar and one of the most commonly asked questions that I get from you is what um, chords should I learn first? So um, I did a little bit of research online as well as took some of my own experiences and songs and stuff like that to determine what I thought were the best chords to learn first as you're beginning out on your guitar journey. And I ended up determining that these eight chords are probably the most commonly used and easiest to play chords that you should learn first when you're starting out on guitar. You can play a lot of songs with just these eight chords, especially pop songs, especially like top 40 type songs are generally easily playable with these chords. And so um, it kind of goes in a little bit of music theory, but also you'll notice that if you have a song that doesn't use these chords, normally if you have a capo, you can transpose the chords to match these eight chords, but just move your capo around to match the key of the original song. Um, I know I'm getting a little bit into music theory and stuff, but what I'm pretty much trying to say is that these eight chords are very versatile, and if you can learn them and get them under your belt, then you'll have this whole world of of songs open to you to play and learn and so um, I thought that it would be fun today if I went ahead and showed you how to play those eight chords in case you're brand new and you know don't know those chords yet and stuff and then after that I was going to do a little bit of research and go on the Billboard Hot 100 um, plays like song playlist and find a handful of songs from there that you can play with just these eight chords so um, I guess let's go ahead and get started and let me show you how to play these eight chords. All right, so before we begin, if you are a beginner and you don't know how to read chord charts and stuff, I would suggest that you click on this uh, TMT um, video that I have in this card that I'll display right here, and that'll take you over to my TMT tutorial about how to read chord charts and stuff like that. It'll be really helpful. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and continue on if you do know how to read it. Let's go through these chords really quick. We've got C, which looks like this and sounds like this. Next we have A, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that we've got G, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that we have E, which looks like this and sounds like this. Next we have D, which looks like this and sounds like this. Then we also have D minor, which looks like this and sounds like this. Next we have A minor, which looks like this and sounds like this. And then last we have E minor, which looks like this and sounds like this. And that's how you play those A chords. So like I said, with these eight chords, you'll actually have a whole world opened up to you about songs that you can play, especially those top songs, especially those top 40 songs, a lot of them use these chords. So um, to prove my point, like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and go on Billboard Hot 100 and see, like pick out a few songs that I think are popular right now that you might recognize that you would be able to play with just these eight chords. Um, so let's go ahead and jump over to that. Hey, so I had to switch camera angles so I could look at my computer screen over here because a lot of these songs I don't know off the top of my head, so um, I had to look up the chords. But anyways, uh, hopefully you can see the chords that I'm playing. I will put down in this corner which chord I'm playing so that you can see indeed that I am using the same eight chords for all of these songs. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. A, A, A. Place, baby, you're a wreck. Leave us to say I'm keeping her in check. She was all 
staring at my face, baby don't trip Someone took a big L, don't know how that felt Looking at you sideways, party on tail Ooh, some things you can't refuse She wanna ride me like a cruise And I'm not trying to lose Then you left in the dust I must have stuck by ya You're a sunflower I think your love will be too much Or you'll be left in the dust Catch you if you fall And if they laugh enough for more
everything cause you made me believe you're mine Yeah, you used to call me baby, now you're calling me by name Takes one to know one, yeah, you beat me at my own damn game You pushing, you pushing, I'm pulling away, pulling away from you People tell me to medicate Feel my blood running Swear the sky's falling How do I know she's fabricated? That's really high Time goes by and I can't control my mind Don't know what else to try But you tell me every time Just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing Oh, I gotta keep, keep on breathing these eight chords so if you ever are a beginner and you have that question for me that is my answer I think that these eight chords are the top priority for you to learn first because I think that they'll be the most versatile and most usable and are relatively easy to play because they're all open chords so um, I hope that you enjoyed this video I know that it's a little bit rough around the edges this is just kind of more of a almost like a vlog style video I thought that I could make really quick for you guys so um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below as well as subscribe to my channel. And if you are already subscribed, make sure to also turn on that bell notification. Um, leave a comment below if you are part of that notification squad because I love seeing those people who are like super on top of things. Thank you guys so much. Um, but anyways, uh, make sure to check out my other videos here. I have playlists on actual guitar tutorials where I take you through songs and teach you all the strumming patterns and everything like that, as well as my TMT tutorials tutorials that are more like technique videos and stuff. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this helped you and I will see you in my next one. Bye!